Alrighty, YouTube. Well, welcome back to Subnautica. I went ahead and built the flashlight. Turn on my face because I'm a moron. Uh, let's see what else. I adjusted the field of view. So it wasn't until just as I was ending the last episode I realized the field of view was way too close. Uh, let's see. I also made the rebreather and got that done. I made some disinfected water, which I discovered uh, you can make disinfected water from bleach. In order to get bleach, you get coral tube samples and salt. Well, I had some salt, and I got one piece of coral tube sample, and I thought, oh, let's just make some water. But what I didn't realize was it actually makes two disinfected water, not one. So I might do that instead of looking for those darn puffish things, what they're called. Anyway, uh, we're going to head off over here, uh, that way in hopes that we'll find uh, a few pieces of something useful. The uh, sea glide. Uh, my goal for this episode is I really would like to get the sea glide made and also start looking for pieces of the sea moth. Most everything you can build... Oh, sorry about that. Anyway, um... Uh, most stuff that you have to make in this game, you have to find pieces of it. It's scattered about the ocean floor. Pretty good. So there's fish. New creature discovered. There's more salt in there. Stay away from the stalkers. Don't kill you. Oh, also, when you scan something that you already have, it will turn it into uh, titanium. So, easy way to get titanium. Trying to keep my eye out for anything else I can scan. The most dangerous thing in the safe shallows is, of course, the stalkers. This is a coral tube. This is what I was using. I was cutting in order to uh, get to the beach. Sorry if I'm moving too fast. My mouse is a little really weird. The sensitivity bu buttons I have on it are just... What the heck? I've never heard that sound. Anyway, the sensitivity buttons on it are a little weird. I mean, even though I set them to low, it's still... Sometimes it'll still be really cool. Whatever hit the Aurora hit it hard, hard enough to shatter the ship. Shatter the ship. Trash can. Shut up, Oak. Oh look, a sea glide fragment. I only need two. <laughs> well, I guess going over here just to pick up the fragment. Oh god. I almost had a heart attack. I thought I was out of oxygen. No, oh, it's a solar eclipse. I guess we never really looked up, did we? 
Uh, like I said, obviously this is not Earth. This is an alien planet thousands of light years from Earth. And it has another planet. Actually, I guess you can call that a planet or a moon. It's a big Space station. Oh god, it's not what you're Crab trap. Crab trap is kind of neat. I'll show you all the things. Uh, gosh, I'm just scanning these guys. Spit up the gas things and they explode and they poison the water around. They also sound like they're laughing all the time. No, bad stock. Shoot, go away. Data. Compass! New blueprint acquired. Well, that's it around here, I think. So the surface, get some water, get some water. Ah! There. Ah, well, now that we can make the sea glide, let's go back to make it. I actually don't remember where everything is. I can remember where some of the basic stuff is. Obviously, Sea Glide. Some, somewhat remember where the, the Sea Moth parts are. Good news is, the game actually will help you quite a bit. They'll, uh. The messages, the radio messages you get, more often than not, they'll actually say something like, I have this. Congratulations, oh. survivor. You have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by 500%. Data indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. Be sure to vary your routine for uniform muscle development. Face palming so hard right now. Thank you, Jenny. I guess that. Titanium. I need silver, like I said. Oh, I can swim. Uh, Alright, that's a tube we swam Swam through. Swam through. Unfortunately, it's got mostly limestone. I need sandstone jewels. That's the stuff that's got uh, silver in it. There you go. That's a crash fish. Right there. I'm gonna avoid that. I hate those things. Annoying as all can be, they chase after you and explode. Sounds like I'm sniffing it, aren't I? Oh, such good oxygen. <laughs> oh boy! Things, but uh, I want to go ahead and see what's over here. Oops, whoa, whoa. What's the matter with him? Uh, 
Oh, nothing. He's just, I guess he's just stuck. I thought there was something wrong with him. There are far more scary and dangerous creatures in this game than those crash fish and then the stalkers. There are some creatures in this game that I, I refuse to go near at all, in all means. I'm not terrified of the ocean, but I just sure as heck don't like it. Well, I don't like going in it. Something, really, something that's not going to sink. Speaking of home, I actually am going to build a little base. Anyway, I am going to build a real base. I have to be able to build a tool yet. I think that'll be the next thing I build after I build the sea walls. I mean, the, uh... Oh, look! Near blueprint acquired. After I built the uh... warning, local radiation readings suggest the Aurora's drive core has reached critical state. Quantum detonation will occur within two hours. Okay, look at that! Look how close we are from home. My base. Ah, oh. and I could have gotten the sea glide a lot sooner. Grab the trap. What's this? Well, it makes like a, like a... I don't even know what to call that sound it makes. Audio cue. That is a sand shark. Those are pretty creepy. Hell, more crash fish. I hate those things. Where does it come back to make a for, for a split second, the stupid nest looks like uh, a sandstone. Oh, I need seek fluid intake in real life. Maybe I'll stop coughing. Ah. I thought it looked like a sandstone block, so I was like, oh, perfect! Wiring kit and a computer chip. There you go. I guess I can make that soon. Uh, hope fish. Oh, uh, not that. Uh, titanium. Okay, well, that's right. Now, what do I need to make the uh, seat? Battery, lubricant, copper wire. Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. 
Uh, yes, we read. Hello? Nothing but vacuum. Vacuum. Hello? These Altera ships. They run low on engine grease, send an SOS, you often engine help, grease. they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's gonna take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. Yes! How can I push buttons? I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn charter's gonna have us blowing our credits, running errands for Altera. See what the long-range scans pick up in the meantime. Actually, attack the mushrooms with a knife, they explode and they hurt you massively. I guess that would make sense, though. Right? There we go, and. See guy! Oh. The Sea Glide will increase your effective exploration range. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod. Habitat. Yes, yes, I got that. All right, I will make this computer chip, wiring kit. Uh, wiring kit, I need more silver. I don't think I've got any more. It's hard to find more silver. Oh, copper wire. One more silver. There we go. Alright, cool. Hang on, I'm ready for message. Land re recorded distress call. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't want us, this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing is trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, go well, there just a second. I just remembered. I actually had stuff I was going to read from before. Uh, oh, compass. That's the other thing. Seam off, I need three pieces to find that, so hopefully I can go over there and they'll be seam off pieces there. Alright, let's see, voice log, uh, let's go through all this. Alright, I 
Last Alien series, blah blah blah, specimens. Survivors, group five. Okay, here we go. Unidentified crew number one. You really think it'll fire? You really think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power cell rig to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? Oh, sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the life pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the maths, I'll be terrified. I hate to say it, but it sounds like his maths were wrong, because there was a huge hole in the side of his, their pod, and there was a blown up sea glider inside of it. Let's go. Alright, I need silver, but I also want to go over there. Alright, so... you know what, actually, I can drop this right here. Because it should stay right there in that area. Go. Oh my gosh, this is so fast. Ah, yes. Red leaf area. Red grass area. a nearby cave entrance, depth 90 meters, leading to an unknown environmental biome. suggest this biome supports extensive biodiversity and connects to a number of small cave networks. seconds. from the inside. There's a sea wall right here. Integrating new PDA data. This blew up from the inside, which I find strange. Ah, what, what are you? Ah, what are you? Get away. Spider, that's the appropriate name. Got a bunch of teeth. Down there, no problem. Well, not really a problem, but rebreather allows you to go deeper without losing, using too much oxygen. Thirty seconds. Sorry. Cough so hard I knocked something off my desk. No, I got another message. Oh, oh no. Emergency. 
A quantum detonation has occurred in the Aurora's drive core. The reactor will reach a supercritical state in T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Blueprint database. I think I got all that lead. Uh, wow, that that explosion was a lot bigger than the last time I've ever seen, and a lot louder too. Well, that's what happens when the Aurora's warp drive explodes. Warp drive? Quantum drive? Whatever. Discovered. Anyway, I'm not gonna need this speech. Uh, what I'm really gonna need is a um, battery charger because most of the batteries and stuff are slow. Slow, slow. But the good news is. Nah, I'll do them later. I'll show you them later. Is you can actually make new items with dead batteries. else to do. You can't work. I'm getting bored on my mind sitting here watching video games. I might as well play some. If I gotta cough a bit to do it. Sorry. I'll be all over it soon. Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. I didn't know how bad... how many of you... I, I didn't know. We're now en route to your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. Oh, wow. That's a nice he actually What nice else guy. can I say? The only time I parked a rig this big on a rock that small was in VR. And I blew it. It's a bad option, all right, but so are all the others. Okay, his heart's in the right place, but his mind is in... Okay. I'm so sure he's gonna be useful after all. Radiation suit, two fiber mesh cores, a mini fiber mesh. Look for Reginald, decent size but salty. Punch and smoky, extremely filling. 